Texas farmers and ranchers will likely lose as tariffs on some of their products have been announced by Mexico and Canada. The tariffs on meat and fruit items are in retaliation to tariffs announced this week by the Trump administration. Texas exported $232.6 billion in goods to foreign markets back in 2016. The Tricentennial Commission has published a new book on the 300th anniversary of San Antonio called A Story 300 Years in the Making. It's a collection of writings by 46 people who have various perspectives of the city and its history. The book will be published by Trinity University Press as a hardcover and ebook. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. Thanks, Sherry. San Antonio-based oil company Camber Energy has named Lewis Schott as interim CEO after Richard Azar resigned from that position. Azar's resignation stems partially from him being a personal guarantor under Camber's outstanding loan with IBC Bank. Camber, which is in default on the loan and discussing a settlement, said Azar wanted to avoid perceived conflicts of interest. Schott will be paid $25,000 per month, while Azar, who remains on Camber's board, will receive $150,000 in severance and warrants to buy 1 million shares of its stock. Work is set to begin in July on a more than $3 million makeover of Santicos Entertainment's Northwest Theater Complex near I-10 and Loop 410. Improvements will include new reclining seats, screens, and sound systems. Thanks, Tony. Find these stories online at klrn.org news.